power slide contest at camp. Basically, you just go as fast as you can down a hill and then see who can power slide the longest. Chaos. It's chaos ensuing. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I already have a little tattoo. Look at that. Oh. I did it earlier, and I went to the very bottom of the hill, but. I don't want to like do it because I don't want to like show people oh up and be God. rude, you know. I want to be respectful. Oh. Yeah, you should go do it. I can't power slide for the life of me. Here comes Quinn. I think I got like 57 feet. I didn't win, but ate it a couple times. Yo, Quinn, get some wheels. Yeah. Hey. All right. Bro, I got some wheels. They're looking fresh. I'm finna skate them. How, how far did you get? Oh, 63 feet. It was sick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go, bro. Woo. Insane. I'm like self-proclaimed veteran here and Reese is a first timer so I like being the tour guide and he's like so stoked to be out here and doing it and wanting to be out all day and that's what I want to do when I'm here so it's a good combination of me and him. This is my first time at Woodward, always wanted to come since I was a little kid so I'm like living the dream right now, I'm stoked. I wouldn't want to come here with anyone else besides Ed, like he's kind of a veteran when it comes to Woodward. So he shows me all the ropes, you know? Woodward is fun and just positive. All the kids just have such good attitudes. It gets me so happy. Like, it's been awesome just to kind of go back to my 13-year-old self. It's major childhood dreams fulfilled, dude. Like, it's crazy. My man. I was 13 when it was the first year that I came here, and I'm 28 now. And I think every single skate park has changed at least a little bit, and it's all for the better. I think The Rock is the only one that stayed pretty much the same. So, new park at Woodward is called Town Center. It's where Outdoor Street used to be. We have finally got to a grand opening ceremony, Town Center. Town Center, it looks like there's a little something for everybody. It can be flowy. There's a bunch of rails there and kink rails, which skateboarders, scooters, and bikers all use. There's a snake run that goes around the whole park. I think it's going to be good for everybody. The Town Center Park looks like a super flowy park, but also has rails there. And the vibe is just like super amazing because everyone's super hyped about it. I didn't like this park, dude. I just want to skate that, the bump up to the transition. So right now, I'm just trying to warm up. I'm trying to get after it, trying to find some lines. This is the largest project we've ever done, 33,000 rideable square foot. It's a massive undertaking. I have this combination of stuff. I think that's the evolution of what I try to do with my design is like, I have a little bit of everything. First touches on the park by these dudes is sick because like, no matter what you think of, people are gonna always put their own flavor and their style in it, and I, those are the things I can't wait for.
outdoor street was was sick and was a very iconic skate park at Woodward. Yeah, this is a spot where outdoor street used to be, and I'm not gonna lie, like there was some stuff in there that it was hard to see it go. But when they told me that they were gonna build a new concrete plaza in place of outdoor street, I was stoked. And once I saw the design for it, I was like, oh man, I hope that's done by the time I get to camp. The photos started rolling in, and now that I'm here, I'm like, okay, like they, they did it right, they did it good. This is gonna be an amazing park for like all wheels, man. Like everybody's gonna be shredding this thing, and, and that's amazing, man. I think it's really gonna enhance the, the camp experience for the kids. I was thinking, we can definitely do something there that if you can get speed coming this way, yeah. I'll find the speed going that way. Me and Ryan are going to do a little doubles. I'm going to go low, he's going to go high, and we're going to try to get the uh, get the first photo in the park. Yeah, so I was mid-air and I saw you pop, so. Yeah, I'm going to go low quicker. This is scary, bro. Don't touch his wheel. Don't touch that, his wheel. But that could be the best accident we ever had. So that time you were a bit early, maybe? Yeah, I think okay. I was early. Okay. Yeah. All right. so crazy. <laughs> My hands kind of came in too soon, huh? Oh, not yeah. really, though. Let me get another shot and get those hands out. All right. If you don't mind. Yeah. We got it. We're right above the top. Oh! Yeah, dude. You good with that? Yeah, great with that. I'm good with that. Sick, dude. We haven't got a photo of him dude. forever. Yay! Hey, and nobody died. Yay! <laughs> We've been waiting for this day. It is finally here. Town Center. Grand opening ceremony. Ribbon cutting ceremony. We had the whole nine. The big scissors. The big athletes. The VIPs. But it is here. And we are excited to share it with each and every one of you today. So there's about to be a demo going on, the very first wheels to touch the park. A lot of the pros from all the action sports. Luckily me, Christian, and Noby get to skate it too, so we're really hyped that we're one of the first to skate that brand new park. Uh, that was a demo? Yeah. Oh, I should have done better then. I was just kind of doing kick turns and 50s. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? I, I can't believe I didn't know that. I was like, why are all these people standing around? Demo. You guys didn't tell me that. You just called me over. Hey, you could skate the new park. Here it is, baby, in all its glory. It's pretty sick, man. Uh, stoked, stoked to be here shredding it. So sick, dude. It's like never been touched at all. First marks. Oh my. Ah. Rest in peace, outdoor street. That was like my favorite park, but. This park is like way smoother. I love it already. Right now, these kids actually have the opportunity to get the first feeble on the kink rail, to like, you know, hit a certain line first and they'll never forget that. As far as Woodward always evolving, dude, they, they really listen and they watch what kids are into. They watch what the BMX, what the skate guys are doing and then they adapt with the times and they create parks that really suit everybody's need. And so this is a park for a beginner, for intermediate, for advanced, like you can find any type of line here. It's incredible. It's Woodward Camp. They're already hyped already. So you give them a brand new place to ride. Look around. Look at the excitement around Woodward Camp right now. This place is absolutely buzzing. Right now we're going crazy on the new park. It's wild. It's X Games quality. We just let in 50 new campers and they are hyped, dude. They're going crazy right now. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. 
Are you, are you hyped? Yes, I'm hyped. Yes. Yes, you are. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Let's go. Experience you're only gonna get at Woodward. You got like 300 kids coming to bum rush this skate park at its grand opening. VIPs like Tori Pudwill and Ed Duff and everyone out here. This is insane. Oh my goodness. I love this, dude. One of the photographers, Josh, wants to shoot a triples photo with me, Mia, and Nobi. We decided that we wanted to shoot the photo at Town Center. So we're gonna shoot a triples photo. Have you guys uh, seen like a doubles photo in a magazine before? We're gonna try to one-up that a little bit and do three people instead of two with the three of you. I think we should go out in the park, take a walk around and see what sort of things you guys are psyched on and what we can uh, get the three of you in on. So yeah, let's give it a shot. When we got there, Josh told us what he was thinking and we took a walk around the park to like figure out what obstacle would be best. What do you guys think about this uh, this hip area? This hip and this quarter, this whole thing right here? Maybe not. Okay. What about like the, the double rails and the Euro gap? That's too far away. That might be doable with the right lens. If somebody's in the air on the Euro gap and then you guys are on the rails. If someone were yeah coming into the Euro gap, we finished looking around town center and we decided that we want to shoot two people on the down rails and one going up the Euro gap. Can you back 180 up that thing, up that Euro gap? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can I see one real quick? Back 180? Yeah. Okay. If you were going to do something on one of the rails, what were you, uh, what were you thinking? Port side, front port. Port side, front port. Okay, cool. Working with a photographer was I think especially easy because Josh was really chill. Nobi. It was really easy working with him. What could you do on the rail that you'd be psyched on? My front board. Front board? Okay. I think Christian was going to back 180 up the Euro and then me and Nobi were going to do front boards on either side. Lights are set up, sky is perfect, park's fresh, paint's fresh, we're ready to go. Go a little bit later. The hard part about doing triples is the person you're doing triples with has to land the trick and it has to be at the same time. So it's like you have to rely on the other people too. Christian needs to drop in and then we'll drop in. Yeah. So the hard part was like trying to get the timing right because we were all coming from different spots. Christian was so far away and he was like doing a the Euro gap so it was like so hard to get it at the same time. I definitely knew how hard this was going to be going into it. I do not think that uh, the kids probably knew how hard this was going to be <laughs> before we went into this. <laughs> We're going to get it, guys. We are 95% of the way there. Yep. That's it. The photo turned out really, really cool. All those tries were totally worth it. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but we got the timing, I think, pretty perfect, and the photo turned out super cool. Thanks, Josh. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. Everything uh, from the lighting to the composition to, you know, these guys did such an amazing job. You know, there's like a lot of persistence required to do that. It's always really cool when you see the campers that are willing to put in the work like that. It uh, speaks a lot about who they are and what kind of stuff they're gonna go on to do in the future. on the next episode of Camp Woodward. It's my first day back at camp and I'm gonna try to get some lines at the plaza. The plaza is probably my favorite park here. I, you can just like go on forever and that eight stair is just so like perfect. Well, everyone just got their lines and Zion and Christian are about to skate the four block. I was nine years old when I tried to kick flip the four block. Bro, you know how many people have asked me about that? <laughs> Let's go.
Alright, I need to kickflip it.